I've had a pretty good run. If it's my time to go, then it's my time. I just wish I knew who choked me to death. Yeah. Wait, what? I see you. I know you. You don't know Jack, lady! Get off me! Joey? Clear off, kid! Get back! It's her! After all this time! Hey! You stay away from her, you hear me? I... I'm sorry. Well? Well what? Who is she? Her? She's nobody's sweetheart. Just some spook. Let's talk, Joey. What is it? How'd the Countess learn to fight like that? You call that fighting? She was kicking your ass. I would've got her in the end. So what should we do now? I told you, that gallery has a painting of the Countess on the wall. We should go and check it out. That's all for now. Sure. You ready to go? It's about time. Let's scram. Oh, hi again. Hi. You got home okay? I think Nish had to half carry you out of here. Was I that bad? Well, originally I thought I had bought too much wine. It turns out I didn't have to worry, so thanks! <laughs> uh, sure. No problem. Anyway, I have to go over some stuff. Feel free to look around. There. It's her. I knew it. Now look at that and tell me this isn't a coincidence. Stupid old hag. We'll find you. Just see if we don't. Definitely looks like the woman from the other night, but she looks sad. I'd better not touch it. It's just a lighthouse. I wonder which one. That sad face doesn't fool me for one minute. Just a lighthouse. Can't do anything with that. If I could punch a hole through that face, I would. That's Josie Park, the gallery's curator. She seems nice enough. Hi, Josie? Yes? Hi, Josie. Can I talk to you for a bit more? I'm kind of swamped, but okay. I'd like to know more about that painting there. Oh, the Dark Lady. It's different than his other paintings. I'm worried the investors won't like it, but Claude insists. What do you want to know? What can you tell me about the Dark Lady? Well, it's different, isn't it? Claude's work is mostly abstract, but this is actually of a specific subject. Did Claude ever say why? No, but she's definitely striking. She strikes all right, I still got the scars. Claude gets weird when I ask who she is, or why he put her in front of the Roosevelt Island Lighthouse. I figure it's just one of those eccentric artist things. The Roosevelt Island Lighthouse, huh? It's been a while since I've been over there. So, how's everything going? Oh, you know. Busy, busy. This is my first public opening. I want it to be just right. Tell me about Claude. Oh, I found him on the street. Literally. He made his living painting street scenes and selling them to tourists. But he's too much of a genius for that. Don't you think so? Oh, yes. Definitely. See? I knew he was the right choice for this gallery. Where can I find Claude? Knowing him, 
He's probably preparing for tonight. Preparing? You know, glug glug. He's hitting the sauce. Ah. You mentioned something about investors. Oh yes, the Meltzer Foundation. They paid for everything, the renovation, the lights, everything. I've got to pay them back eventually, of course, but still. How much do these paintings cost? Oh, I can't reveal the prices until the public exhibit. But if you're interested in any of them, let me know. I'll discount it for you. Oh, no thanks. I'm not really in the market for any art right now. Translation, she can't afford it. Oh, alright. But if you change your mind, let me know. Thanks, Josie. I'd better get going. Sure, Rosangela. I'll see you at the opening tonight. I can't talk to Joey here. I'll wait until we're alone. Claude? Rosangela Blackwell, the writer. Come on over. Have a drink. You remember me. Who could forget someone who could down three glasses of claret in half an hour? <laughs> I really like that painting of yours, the Dark Lady. <laughs> My paintings aren't meant to be liked. They are meant to be understood. But nobody does. I feel like Joe Gould sometimes. <laughs> I'd really like to know more about the Dark Lady. I have a rule. I don't talk about my work unless I'm drunk enough. How drunk is that? I'm not sure, but I'm working on it. Bit early to be drinking. Says the woman who had to be carried home the other night by an old Indian lady. My opening is tonight, and I intend to be well and truly plastered. It's the only way I'll be able to bear it. I'd like to talk to you about your work. I'd love to, but I'm not drunk enough. Bye, Claude. Yeah. Hi there. Got time for some more questions? Sure, ask away. I don't know much about brands, but it seems like decent stuff. Here we are. I don't see any ghosts. Do you sense anything? Nope. Seems clean to me. Really? You sure? I said there's nothing here. Well, no ghosts anyway. I read a book about this place years ago. Nobody uses this lighthouse anymore. It's just a historic monument. It's a lighthouse. Don't know who it's for. It's not like any ships come through here. It's a lighthouse. Don't know who it's for. It's not like any ships come through here. Hey, Dollface, get your head out of the clouds and over here. What is it? Well, let's get back to it. Yeah.
Hi, Josie, can I talk to you for a bit more? I'm kind of swamped, but okay. Can you tell me anything about the Meltzer Foundation? Oh, those guys are a godsend. Without them, I never would have been able to open this place. I presented them with my plan for the gallery, and poof, they wrote me a check. That's pretty generous. I never thought I was venture capital material, but go figure. I'll have to pay them back, of course, and give them a percentage of our income, but look around. It's my life's dream realized. Thanks, Josie. I'd better get going. Sure, Rosangela. I'll see you at the opening tonight. I can't talk to Joey here. Hi, Claude. Hey. Can you tell me anything about the Meltzer Foundation? Those are the guys who are funding Josie's gallery? Yeah. You'd have to talk to Josie about them. I just throw colors at a canvas. You know about Joe Gould? Sure I do. He was one of the city's last geniuses. Or maybe he was just nuts, I don't know. Maybe I'm just nuts too. Either way, he's famous now. Thanks to Joseph Mitchell. Did he just say Joseph Mitchell? Could you tell me more about Joseph Mitchell? Another of the city's great geniuses. Gone. He could talk to you for five minutes and then write a biography that made you seem like the most fascinating person alive. They wouldn't be alive for long. But then he stopped writing. Nobody knows why, at least not for sure. He published a book about Joe Gould, and then poof, no more writing. He went to his office at the New Yorker every day for 30 years, but never wrote a single word. You come here often? Enough. It's old fashioned, you know. What do you think of the park gallery? It's all right, I guess. I don't know what Josie sees in my stuff. She doesn't understand it at all. She likes it enough to risk her money on it. Liking it isn't the same as understanding it. Still, Josie's been good to me. How could I say no? Do you know Monique Stallman? She was at the gallery the other night, yeah? Uh-huh. She told me my work was awful. I liked her. She insulted your work, but you liked her. Sure. She was honest. She didn't pretend to be awed by it like all the other phonies do. I'd really like to know more about the Dark Lady. I have a rule. I don't talk about my work unless I'm drunk enough. How drunk is that? I'm not sure, but I'm working on it. Bye, Claude. Yeah. Hi there. Got time for some more questions? Sure, ask away. Have you ever heard of a reporter named Joseph Mitchell? No, sorry. After the other night, no way. Hmm. He's so hammered he doesn't notice. Come in. Oh, hello. Again. Cute cat. Thanks, but she's not mine. She was Frank's. And just between you and me, she's not very friendly. I'd like to know the truth about Frank's death. What do you mean? I told you everything I know. Not everything. He didn't have a heart attack, did he? Oh, I love seeing sweat on a pretty girl's brow. Look, I gave my statement. I don't see why I should tell you anything. Mm -hmm. 
Have you ever heard of a reporter named Joseph Mitchell? Sorry, no. What do you know about the Meltzer Foundation? Why, are you looking for a loan? <laughs> Maybe. You deal with them? They invested in our last film. Water Under the Bridge? That's the one. I assume they got their money back since the film was such a success. Not that it's any of your business, but yes, they did. Thanks for the chat, Monique. Sure. Ah, the quivering of her back means that I did good. Joey, I'd like to talk to you. This had better be important, sweetheart. So what should we do now? Who the heck would invest in a gallery? Josie said it was funded by the Meltzer Foundation. Hmm, I wonder who they are. I wonder if there's a good novel in all of this. Huh? I already have a title, The Actor and the Artist. What do you think? I think we got a job to do. Hmm. I heard about Joseph Mitchell back when I studied journalism. He sounded fascinating. What was he like? Southern guy. Very soft-spoken. Seemed like a wimp, but had more backbone than I gave him credit for. I can't believe you and Auntie met him. He almost got your auntie killed. Remember that. That's all for now. Sure. <laughs>